Hey guys, Chris from the Ultimate Recycler. It's a bit echoey here because I'm in our kitchen today and we're looking at our fridge and pardon all the notices stuck all over it, but I'm not sure if you can hear it groaning. I'll try and be quiet for a minute. It sounds like a distant gyrocopter or someone mowing their lawns a couple of blocks away and it does this during the night. It just groans and moans and gurgles and it's about, I think it's about 15 years old, maybe 12 years old, I'm not sure. It was Christine's fridge before we got together. And it's been a great fridge. It's a whirlpool and it's a fridge freezer. And hopefully there's nothing too disgusting in here. Uh, the model is up there, if you can see that. Uh, and I'll, I will put the model in the title. It does not have an ice maker but it's half fridge or probably two thirds fridge and a third freezer. And I'm not sure if you can hear it through here, but it's, it's kind of just sounds like a fan now, but it really gurgles and moans. And sometimes at night, because we've got um, polished boards throughout a house, it echoes a bit. And it sounds like either we've got a haunted house and it's, and they're groaning and moaning or, um, it's really eerie sometimes and it's actually quite loud so we don't want to have to buy a new fridge this one still works beautifully otherwise freeze as well uh, keeps things nice and cold and no complaints but I'm not sure if it's a compressor problem or it's just as simple as a fan but if you've got a fridge that's groaning I did do some checking online and apparently some of them it's a compressor noise and it may need the replacement of the compressor I'm going to pull this one out shortly and we'll have a look together. We'll see if we can fix it because I don't really want to buy a new fridge. So I've just moved it out and the noise appears to be coming from down around the compressor area. I'll be quiet again and give you a listen. So it's just constant. It appears to be a while with the compressors running. There we go. It's gone quiet. So it appears to be directly related to the compressor. Maybe it's a fan, I'm not sure. Um, there's a bit of mouse dirt under here to clean up. Trouble with having a dog inside that, that likes to spread its food around as you do get a few mice, so we'll have to clean it up. I'm going to pull this out a bit further and take the cover off and we'll see if we can identify exactly where the noise is coming from. I'll have to wait until the compressor clicks in again. But uh, then hopefully we can pinpoint the actual source of the noise. So that's got all the screws out. Let's see what's behind the cover. I'd expect to see a bit of a mess from the mice. Let me see. Yep, that's going to need a good clean out. Amazing the mess mice can make in such a short time. Uh, now the compressor's not running at the moment. It's quite warm. A little bit of corrosion on the end of the pipe there. What do you reckon, Coco? Can you see any mice? Stick your nose in there and have a look. All right, watch out the road. Now, there is a fan here. So we might wait until it fires up and we'll see if the fan makes the noise or if we can actually, I can unplug the fan. I'll have to turn the power off to do that, but we'll wait until it fires up first and just have a listen. I might open the door to encourage the compressor to quick in, click in a bit earlier. Okay, I've just discovered that leaving a fridge door open unattended isn't a good idea because the dog had a look in, but nothing was harmed. Now I can hear something humming and I think the compressor's going. It just feels to have a bit of a, a buzz to it. Look out of the road, dog. Come on. Watch out. Fan's not going though. So I don't know when that clicks in. We'll just wait for a bit longer. So now the fan's clicked in, and I'm pretty sure that's the source of the noise. Look out of the road, Coco. It certainly appears to be where the noise is coming from, and the fact that the compressor was running before and it was nice and quiet, I'm sure it's this fan. So I'm gonna unplug it. In fact, I think I can access it reasonably well enough to take the fan out and then we can just maybe take it to the workshop and make sure the bearings aren't too dry 
I don't think the blades are actually hitting anything. It's just the motor itself in the fan seems to be making that groaning noise. So I'm going to stick the, air com uh, the vacuum in here and clean up around here. And uh, I'll try and get that fan out. Okay, we've just got a little torch in here. I'm just undoing, you can see I've unplugged the wires here. And I'm just undoing three screws that hold the fan motor. That's one's just fallen into the, the tray there. And the other one should be just about out. There it goes. And there's one at the top. But before I get to that one, just have a look at the spindle of the motor behind the fan blade. Look at the hair wrapped around it. I suspect that's a big cause of the problem. Uh, it's amazing how things pick up hair and because this fan blows air it means it sucks it from behind and hair is very light of course and it can just come in off the floor. Uh, it's probably not animal hair, that's probably Christine's hair. It wraps around and around. It's so long that Christine has been known to destroy quite a few little fan heaters with her hair. So I've just got one more screw to get out and the fan should slip out of the road all right. It's a little difficult doing things here with my apprentice right in my face all the time. I think she can smell the mice. <laughs> a face only a mother could love, hey. Okay, the fan's now loose. Hopefully we can maneuver it out this side. Oops. Get the blades past the pipes. There we go, got it out. All right, I'll take that out to the workshop and we'll have a better look. So the little fan's just on the bench now in the vise to hold it. I've got it wired up with a couple of test leads to a mains uh, supply, which is going through my isolation transformer. Let's turn it on and see what happens. Hopefully there's not enough torque for it to jump out of the vise. I don't think it should. Testing. There we go. So it's running fine, but I suspect that in the framework of the fridge... Ah, listen to that. We can hear a little bit of little bit of ticking. Oh, hang on, it might be just catching on the fabric underneath. Oh no, that's clear. So I reckon the bushes are starting to make a bit of a whine uh, and it's amplifying itself through the framework of the fridge to turn into a groan. So I'm going to clean the hair out of this and hopefully we can have it running smoothly and quietly. So the fan just pushed off pretty easily, it's only a press fit. I'm hoping the motor will come apart because I want to get in and lube the bushes. I could probably lube the one there on that side, but the other end sealed. Uh, doesn't look, there's certainly no screws holding it together, so I'm guessing it just clips together somehow. Let's see if it'll come apart. We don't really want to break the housing though. does feel like it clips but it's pretty tight oh there we go I think we're having some success they're probably not designed to be serviced like everything <clears throat> a, uh, a tradie that called around would probably just replace the fan there we go beautiful yeah, it's just a press fit I'll have to work around a bit more. In fact, most tradies would probably look at the fridge and say, oh, it's over 10 years old, buy a new one, which is exactly what we want to try and stop on this channel. Most things can be given a longer life with a little bit of effort. Slowly getting there. And just to be careful, I don't want it to sort of suddenly spring apart and bits go everywhere. So just easing it apart. There we go. So there are the pins. I have to make sure I get those through properly. That end of the housing doesn't even hold the motor. The motor's all sealed in there. Hopefully I'm still in shot here. Um, pretty simple little motor. And that end's probably completely sealed i'm not going to try and get into there i think what we'll do is we'll just lube this end we've got all the hair out of it and we'll give it another test to make sure it's still working then we'll try it back in the fridge
I'm just giving this another quick quick run before I um, put the blade back on and I'm going to drop a little bit of machine oil down into that bush. Uh, I don't want to use a WD-40 or just a general lubricating spray because they evaporate so quickly and it'll just start making its groaning noises again. So um, I'm just going to actually run it for about five minutes or so just with a little bit of oil so it works down the shaft and onto the bush. I can, don't know if you can see it in the camera, but I can just see the top of the bronze bush in there. But I'll just start it up whilst it's sitting like this. And you hear that noise. It's certainly running dry in that bush. So hopefully that's all the trouble is. So I'll give it a little bit of lube and I'll leave it run for a while. I've got a little bit of oil into there, it's working its way down and it's purring like a kitten as opposed to mooing like a cow or growling like a monster. So hopefully that's fixed it. Um, there's a chance that the motor is going to be pretty worn and if it does come back and start making noises again soon I might just have to order a new motor but it's always well worth uh, doing this little check. Remembering these things just run little bronze bushes and they do dry out. Um, it's not like they run sealed bearings or anything like that. So they're only designed with a relatively minimal life. I guess they just want to sell you new fridges all the time. Still makes a fair buzz if I put a little bit of load on the shaft. But I'll put the blade back on now and it's easy enough to hook it back up to the fridge. We'll see how it sounds. Just with the blade on now, it sounds beautiful and quiet. So I think we've fixed the problem. Pretty happy with that. Let's go and put it back together. Okay, that's got the screws done up. And we've just got to plug the power back in. Which can only go the one way. So there we go, installation of the fan complete. Luckily the dog's not here to help me for this part. And just make sure it spins without fouling on anything. So that should be good to go. I'll just clean out around the compressor here and then we'll switch her on. Okay, guess who's back? Out of the road, Coco. All right, I've cleaned it up as best I can. I didn't want to suck it out too much with the vacuum because it was starting to lift all the insulation stuff out. So turn her on, see what happens. And there we go, beautiful, fired straight up. Of course, the fridge has been off for a little while so the compressor was gonna kick straight in. The fan's running beautifully and smooth. Blowing a fair bit more air around too because I cleaned the blades up and that does make a difference. Smooth blades will propel more air, they create less turbulence. So I'm pretty happy with that. And oiled and repaired, well there wasn't really a repair to do, just get the hair out of it. And oiled the fan motor and that's definitely where the noise was coming from. She's running beautifully quiet now, like a new one. Um, I offered all the hair back to Christine. Uh, and she was most depressed because she wanted to get a new fridge out of it and we've saved the old one, which is fantastic. There we go, all done. Fridge is running beautifully and quiet. So just a, another video to show you that you don't have to spend a fortune on repairman. You don't have to throw the fridge out and send it to the waste stream because of a small fault. So give it a go yourself. If it's something like this, have a look because it could be a simple fix. You might be able to save yourself the cost of a tradie. The other thing is that in Victoria and Australia, it is legal to work on appliances. Um, so anything that can be unplugged and is a portable appliance, we are allowed to work on without being a qualified electrician. You do, of course, need to be competent or at least know what you're doing. But the law states that you don't need to be a registered or a licensed electrician. Of course it is different in, I know it's different in Queensland and I think it might be different in other countries. So check it out in your local area. But if you at all know what you're doing, these things can be fixed very easily. Didn't cost me a cent, just a bit of time. And we've saved having to buy a new fridge, which, you know, Christine probably would have liked, but our bank account probably wouldn't have. So thanks for watching. I'll look out for you in the next video. Bye.